Let's go to Erin uh, uh, Kennedy, who has uh, the Cool Moose Party candidate in our studios tonight, Bob Healy. Erin? Thanks, Mike. Lieutenant Governor, it's, it's very close now. You can probably almost taste it, right? Well, it's close. We knew it would be a horse race all the way, so it's kind of interesting to see where it's going to turn out. It is. It's an exciting night. And I was just talking to Joe Fleming. Less than 1% of the precincts in right now, but we do have you with 51% compared to Elizabeth Roberts at 42%. Is this something that you could have predicted? Well, it depends really where those precincts are. Um, certainly if they're coming in from Providence, that's uh, very encouraging. If they're coming in from, say, the East Bay or the western and, and southern part of the state, I would be a little more cautiously optimistic on that. And how do you feel about Heidi Rogers dropping out of the race? Oh, excuse me, Bob, we have some new numbers obviously sure. here up on your screen. Uh, uh, down. Oh, well, that's, that is a change. Um, tell me, though, how do you think it affected your race with Heidi Rogers dropping out in September to throw her support behind you? Oh, well, I think that uh, it certainly made it so that it was a more like a one-on-one -on -one race. Uh, people actually could decide this particular issue, and uh, people have an opportunity to decide whether they want to continue to waste a million dollars a year and c continue an office that I think is worthless um, or uh, abandon the office and save the million dollars. So I, I think it, it really clearly puts it uh, in perspective for the voters and you know, let the voters do what they want to do. So on that thread, what do you do if you win? Uh, if I win, I take the lieutenant governor's seat. However, I would not take the pay nor hire the staff and save the million dollars to the people of Rhode Island. Um, so that's pretty much the, the platform. I would still be serving as the lieutenant governor should the race turn in my favor. Where are you watching the results tonight? <clears throat> well, a variety of places. Um, you know, rather than have a party of one, we decided to uh, let our people go to wherever they wish to go. and see what happens. And now this isn't the first time you've run, but how does this compare to other races for you? Um, this is probably the pinnacle uh, race in terms of statewide office. And to be honest with you, uh, a win tonight would be very nice, uh, but a, lose, a loss tonight um, probably is my retirement from political career. So right. yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting part. I've spent 28 years in political, uh, political service, political life. Um, and I think that it's a point where it's time for me to do other things with my life. Uh, so if it turns against me, uh, it's been a great ride. I've lived in some very interesting times. And now I face the final curtain. It's been very exciting. All right, Bob Healy, thank, thank you, you so much, much for your time. We appreciate it. No problem. Karen, Mike.